Dear God, the butthurt is of epic proportions. Folks, welcome to the channel. And by the way, if you appreciate the content and my approach to these things by the end of the video, do consider subscribing. That's always appreciated. So if you haven't heard about the latest drama is, oh my God, I cannot seamless, seamlessly circumnavigate a moon or a planet in Starfield. Oh, they lie to us. They're telling me that there's a point where this window opens up and says, Boundary reached. Open the map to explore another region or a return to your ship. And this is enough for all of the butthurt PlayStation uh, play, uh, owners, all of those white knights from Star Citizen that want to find something to complain about a game they haven't even played. They're you know rattling up and getting ready for war. It is a joke. Look. This is quite simple. This is not a lie. When th these guys were asked, hmm, when I land on a planet, will I be able to explore the whole entire planet? Yup, if you want, walk on, brave explorer. There you go. You can't do that. Oh, but it's not seamlessly, continuously walking. Well, apparently not. Apparently, based on this, apparently after 20, 30 minutes of walking like a lunatic in the same direction, you reach a point where you're told to open the map to explore another region, probably the next region that you're getting to, or return to your ship. Because it seems to be, again, I haven't played the game yet, but it seems to be, and it does make perfect sense that it's a patchwork you know, of regions around the entire moon or the entire planet. Yes, you can explore all of it. No, it's not a seamless transition between these regions that you're exploring. You have to open up the map. And if you think about it, when they it told us that there's no land vehicles, right? You're not going in the same direction all the time. And especially when they said, I think Todd Howard was the one that said that with a jetpack, you're good for exploring. Well, yeah. For that region where it's like 10, 20 minutes, 30 minutes of, of walking time, you can accelerate that nicely with your jetpack. It's practical enough, useful enough, doesn't bother, it's always there, done, no problem. Now, you want to continue exploring into the next region? Yeah, fine. That's why you have like pre-designated landing zones in, in these regions for your ship. Right? That's another thing that at that a time had all of the uh, crybabies upset about. Oh, there's no seamless transition between space and atmosphere. Well, no, because it doesn't make sense. Todd Howard explained this quite well. It is just too much for too little to be gained. You're putting a lot of stress on working on stuff that it's just too complicated for what? For something that is enjoyable the first time? The second time, trust me, Star Citizen, you do this. The third time, you're already pissed. You're already feeling like you're wasting time. Instead of playing the game, instead of doing true exploration and discovering and story and gameplay, you're just wasting your time waiting for something to land. And the same goes for this kind of thing. There's no point. I mean, when you go into like a, a Skyrim, when you go into a dungeon and there's a, a transition, right, between the exterior and the interior. Oh, but it's not a real space simulator. Uh, it is a game, right? This is a game that will have certain boundaries. You will not be able to go continuously exploring forever into space. There's what, a thousand planets? Yes. So there's going to be some kind of limit there as well. Are you also going to cry a river because you cannot keep on flying into eternity in space in Starfield? Of course not. You cannot do that either in Star Citizen. So, so much for, oh, but it's a true space simulator. No, it's not. And you know why you can walk all day long in one of the moons of Star Citizen? Because there's nothing there. There's nothingness to walk towards or to let alone explore. So I have no problem whatsoever with this. Patchwork, I move into a next region. Okay, my ship is placed or landed in the next region. Fine by me, no problem whatsoever. Would it be even better if I could just continue? Yeah, yeah, but it's this much of a big deal compared to how complicated it would probably be to implement that. So it makes perfect sense that for people that wanna make a game, that actually works, that we can enjoy, that we can play, that we can have fun in, that's fine. I mean, it's not really that different from uh, Baldur's Gate 3. In Baldur's Gate 3, when you reach certain points, you're asked, do you want to continue on to the next region? Yeah, I want to continue having fun and enjoying this awesome game. I have no problem with the things that obviously have their panties all bunched up for some of these crybabies. Folks, I hope I clarified that. And again, if you want to 
uh, up, um, stick around for whatever new content I upload once I actually get my hands on Starfield, which is going to be hopefully in the next couple of days. Do subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Take care.